a special presentation. Uh, we're not planning on discussion on this either, but it is a vital missionary endeavor for the future. And it is the missionary book for 2022, for next year, uh, and for a very wonderful project for 2023 and 2024, two years, where we're going to be having the Great Controversy Project 2.0. Now that's kind of, you know, connecting with all the modern jargon and everything else, because this is the second edition, basically, of reaching out with the Great Controversy. We did that a number of years ago with powerful uh, results in so many ways. Many people's lives changed. I'm sure we'll see many in heaven. And this time, we're going to do it for two years, uh, 2023 to 2024. So to introduce both of these aspects, uh, 2022, and then the project in 2023 and 2024, I'm going to turn to Billy Biaggi, who is the advisor to our publishing ministries department, and then he will introduce Almir Moroni and a special presentation. So, Billy, please go ahead. Praise the Lord for this opportunity with all the GC committee members uh, to watch this uh, presentation. What a great program. It's a special missionary program that all church members, 21 plus million can be involved. Children, teenagers, young people, adults, elderly, all can be involved. Thinking, who is the person that I love and I want to see in heaven? And to approach that person with a missionary book. So Elder Almir, in the name of all the publishing ministry uh, team here at the GC and all the leaders worldwide, if you are so kind to make for us this presentation. God bless. Thank you, Elder Biagi and Elder Wilson for this opportunity. I want to ask Carrell to, to share the screen. Uh, you will, you will uh, see uh, a PowerPoint presentation to, that will help us to understand. Um, literature distribution is a vital part of mission accomplishment. Every year since 2007, the publishing department has presented to the world a new publication as the Missionary Book of the Year. These books are being translated into more than 50 languages and distributed worldwide. We calculated over 500 million books already distributed. Ellen White uh, said that uh, we are fast approaching to the end. The printing and circulation of books are, and papers that contain the truth for this time are to be our work she says. And this project, Missionary Book of the Year, is aligned with I Will Go with Strategic Plan under KPIs 1.3 and 3.3. And so now uh, let's see the three objectives of uh, the book distribution. The first objective is to present our most distinctive beliefs in an attractive way. Second objective is to promote wide and mass distribution. And number three is to involve each church member, which is TMI, total member involvement, distributing literature. Many people cannot uh, preach or cannot give Bible study, but they can surely distribute a book. Ellen White uh, wrote that God's message to the world should be given with such prominence and power that people would be brought face to face, mind to mind, heart to heart with the truth. She goes on saying that our publications have the uh, most sacred work to do in making clear, simple, and plain the spiritual basis of our faith. This is the nature of the literature that we as church should produce and distribute at this time. Missionary Book of the Year has this purpose. This is the Missionary Book of the Year promo I want to share with you. We prepared a, a promo video for the Missionary Book of the Year. I want to ask Karel to play the re video in the next slide. Let's see if we can see. This video is available in, in four languages, in English, Portuguese, Spanish, and French.
This year's been really hard. First, our school closed, and then we couldn't go anywhere. I miss my friends and our playground, all because of the virus. But Daddy told me not to be upset. This wouldn't last forever. Well, a few days later, it was Daddy's turn to get really sad. He had to leave his job too, but unlike me, he didn't know if he would ever be able to go back again. Then one day, Mommy came home with a book. She said it would help us to be happy during sad times. I guess it worked because she was much happier after reading the book. Mommy said sadness is like darkness, and light is what makes everything better. She said that Jesus' light is so bright that it can save this whole world from darkness. When I look at Mommy and Daddy's faces now, I know I can also help to shine the light of Jesus to everyone who is sad. I think this is awesome. The times we live in are extremely uncertain. People look to the future and they wonder, what does the future hold? But for many, the future may never come. And many people are asking the question, is this really simply a natural disaster? Is it a sign of the last days? What does the prophetic word of God say? As I began to wrestle with some of those questions personally, I decided to write. The book is entitled, Hope for Troubled Times. In this book, the first chapter, I deal with pandemics and pestilences and prophecy. Throughout the book, we look at things like the ultimate vaccine, which of course is the grace of Christ for the virus of sin. We go deeply and delve quite deeply into the prophetic word of God, looking constantly for hope. If you have friends that are looking for hope, and if you're looking for hope yourself, this book is for you, it's for your friends. Around the world, Seventh-day Adventists will be giving out not tens of thousands, not hundreds of thousands, but millions of these books, that you're gonna to go to your friends, your neighbors, your working associates, that you're gonna put something in their hand that's positive. Jesus said, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, then the end will come. Let your heart soar with new hope and give a copy to your friend. They will thank you for it in eternity. I don't know what I wanna be when I grow up, but one thing I know for sure is that I want to take the light to people and help them just like this book helped my family. I want to be a stream of light for Jesus. Yes, this is the missionary book of the year 2021. We are just distributing this book. And uh, the title is Hope for Troubled Times. And this book is addressing this situation, current situation in the world uh, with the social, political, economic impact of the pandemic. So let's see some covers that we have for the books in, in different languages. The next slides will present covers in Spanish, Chinese, uh, and also French, Spanish, and English, uh, different covers, uh, but the book were, uh, has been translated to, into many languages. So I want to also to recommend you the site uh, sharinghope.com uh, which is a mobile friendly website. All books are available there. We can see the next slides uh, featuring books, tracks, uh, and Ellen White books. So you have uh, some uh, books available in 15 languages. And also you have a QR code, you can download the, the, the website and use the website uh, to share books uh, freely online. So the missionary book of the year, also we produced uh, a video uh, format and Elder uh, Mark Finley recorded uh, the whole book. Uh, for the sake of time, we will not share this. Uh, uh, just just a few uh, few seconds uh, for you to know uh, how is the book in video format. Please, uh, Karel, can you share with us? Let's see. <laughs> Recently, our world has gone through a devastating pandemic. Although some okay, countries Karel, were hit you. much Just to, harder to than others. Just to give us an idea about uh, the video version of a book. This is the first missionary book of the year that we also have a video version. The whole book 
uh, is available uh, um, online on this website. I want to share a story with you. The next slide present uh, a church pastor in Brazil, uh, pastor of the Brazil University Church in Sao Paulo. Uh, during lockdown, uh, church services have reached more than 108,000 views on YouTube. He used to preach for 2,000 people in his church, but with lockdown, he is reaching over 180,000 people every Sabbath. And he decided to organize a distribution of 100,000 copies of Hope for Troubled Times. And this year, he will uh, accomplish that. He, he just wrote me saying that around 50,000 were already distributed. He says that church members are gladly sponsoring books for mass distribution. Can you imagine that? This book is for pandemic time, and this is a very important book. Now, what about 2022? 2022 is a very special year as well. And uh, the publishing department has uh, uh, followed the suggestion from the Three Angels Message Committee, and we chose uh, Clifford Gold's team uh, to write a book on the Three Angels Messages. You can see his uh, picture here. So Cliff is uh, writing the book now, and by the end of a few weeks, we will have the manuscript available to share with publishing houses around the world. So the title of the book is The Final Hope, Three Angels Messages for Anxious uh, world, and we, we have this uh, suggestion for covers, but it still uh, need to be decided, yet to be decided on the cover. The title is The Final Hope, uh, me Three Messages for an Anxious World. So this book will be available in short period of time, and we hope that uh, the divisions will be able to translate and to present the book to their end meeting committee in, 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 the, in the month of November, October, and we will have a wide distribution of this book next year. And as you see, books are addressing messages for today. Now let's see plans for the future. Elder Wilson announced that we are thinking about the Great Controversy Project, and the title is the Great Controversy Project 2.0. Why Great Controversy? Uh, uh, again, you know, Ellen White said that uh, the last message uh, to the world is giving in the great controversy more distinctly than in any of my other books, she said. So this is a very special book. She added that I am more anxious to see a wide distribution for this book than any other that I have written. This is the work before us, she continues. For this, our publications uh, should be, our publishing house should uh, were established. And it is the work that God expects us to do now. So we are living in a time of mass communication. We, we encourage digital communication. We have a website to distribute books on digital format. But we know that uh, very soon, unfortunately, we are at the risk to be canceled. Our websites, our even our uh, radios and television might be canceled in the future. Publications placed in the homes of people will continue preaching when all other methods or media will be silent. So we need to distribute books more than ever. And Great Controversy is the book to be distributed now. I want just to add that the Great Controversy is the book that we should distribute before probation time uh, closes. Great Controversy is the book that we should distribute before the probation time closes. I want just to uh, finish reading uh, two more quotes. Uh, to you, Ellen White said that uh, let every believer scatter, broadcast tracts, leaflets, and books containing the message for this time. 
And the next one, she says, we are fast approaching the end, the printing and circulation of books and papers that contain the truth for this time are to be our work. I move this uh, project and I, I pray that the Lord will prepare the way and millions, millions of books, great controversy, the final hope. And this year book, Hope for Terrible Times will be distributed all around the world. They will continue preaching when all other media will be silent. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Billy and Almir, for sharing these plans. Uh, we will not be voting on these. These are plans to share with you as to what's coming up. And uh, you're absolutely right. You know, uh, a, a, a book doesn't need a battery. It never wears out unless you throw it out in the rain, I guess. And uh, it keeps on preaching its precious message. Uh, electronic books, of course, are also very uh, profoundly used, and we praise God for both methods. May God bless these projects in an absolutely phenomenal way. Thank you to both of you.